All right, this video is going to be an introduction to populations. A population is going to be all of the individuals of a single species that live in a single place at a single time. For example, the world's human population will actually also be a species. Uh, the population of E. coli bacteria living in your intestines. Um, or the population of fish in a given pond. Um, but notice that I didn't say... Um, the population of humans today, and also the ones that lived here in 1920. That wouldn't make sense, right? Um, so it's every, everything, they have to be of a single species living in a specific place at a single time. And that space can be really big or really small, um, but as long as they are all currently living there, they are a population. Properties of populations. Populations tend to grow, right? Individuals tend to have multiple offspring in their lifetimes. And of course, this can be limited by resources. And so the study of demography is going to be the study of populations. One property of population size of populations is going to be population size, which we represent with a capital N. Um, that's the number of, pop of individuals in a population. So you can have five individuals, ten individuals, 100,000 individuals. Smaller populations are more likely to become extinct uh, for a couple of reasons, one of which we've talked about. There are going to be greater effects of genetic drift, um, sort of random events, including natural disturbances, etc. And, of course, this big one is that they can experience more inbreeding. Um, and this is what's currently happening with cheetahs. Uh, the populations are so small that then individuals who are in some way related to each other end up mating. Besides population size, you could have, again, five or ten individuals or a hundred individuals or a hundred thousand. Uh, an even bigger thing to think about is population density. That's the number of individuals that live in a specific area. This happens to be a map of the state of Ohio and counties with a uh, sort of population density map. Um, so you can see how many people about live per square mile. And so, for example, Franklin County is this dark red county. Um, that's where Columbus is. Obviously, very high in population density, um, whereas lots of other areas have less density, right? For all we know... Um, they could have the same number of individuals, but, but the space might be uh, larger or smaller. It's probably not the case with these, but um, that could be the case with, with a given population that you're studying. Um, so not only can we talk about how many individuals are in the population, right, its size, and not only can we talk about that, but we can talk about how densely organisms are packed. We can also talk about dispersion, right? Um, which is basically studying the way individuals are arranged in that space, right? Um, so are they basically uniformly spread out? Are they totally random or are they clumped together? And of course, this can tell us a lot about the interactions with others and their environment, right? Um, random might mean that they don't care if they're near or close to anything specific uh, or anybody. A uniform dispersion might tell us that actually organisms want to be as far apart from others as they possibly can. And so this spreading apart as far apart as possible leads to sort of a uniform uh, spread. Or clumped organisms might travel in packs or groups or hives or colonies or something like that. So it can tell us a lot um, how organisms arrange themselves within their environment. So again, Clumped dispersion, like a school of fish, random, like with plants, or uniform, like with a mass of penguins.